I love you. And I'm proud of you. And nothing will ever, ever change that. And if you ever thought it would, then I have failed you. No, you've not. But you're moving in with Victoria now. And if you're seeing men at the same time as you've seen her and she's not aware of it... How many times, Mum? I'm not seeing anyone. Oh, Luke, I'm not a dinosaur. I know it's not as simple as being gay or straight. There's no such thing as a label anymore, and that's how it should be. You really don't get it, do you? But if you live in one life, while you're pretending to live another, do you really think that's going to make you happy? I tried living my real life, Mum. I tried. I almost ended up dead. I don't understand. Ethan's flatmate, Stephen. You and him, it, it was more than a one-night thing, wasn't it? It was much more. I met him at a party at Ethan's. We just got each other. We got so close so quick, you know? It was intense. We were talking about moving in. I wanted him to meet you. You were worried about what I'd think. No, never. I knew you'd love him as much as I did. I just... I wanted to talk to you first. So what changed, love? I got battered... by this bigoted piece of scum who hated me so much for who I was that he wanted us dead. Someone attacked you? Not just someone. My brother. Your son. Your precious Lee. <laughs> Lee turned up. So I thought I'd tell him. I thought he'd be happy that I was happy, Mum, because I was. So I did. He just stood there. Didn't say anything. Then he grabbed me by the throat, slammed me up against the wall and smacked me in the stomach. Told me that my dad would be ashamed of me, that I deserved to have a beating. He punched me again, told me that I'd be better off dead. He had his hands round my throat. Oh, Luke. So I shoved him. And he fell. He smacked his head on the step and he just lay there unconscious. And I, I thought he was dead. He was knocked unconscious. Then he opened his eyes. Tried to punch me again, started spitting more hate, so I lied. I told him I'd call the police. He said it wasn't over that he'd be back with his mates to finish the job. And then he left. And the next time I saw him was that afternoon. He was in hospital on life support. Robert, the attack was the same day. And the last thing that my brother said to me was how much he hated me. That I was dead to him. Or because not because of who I'd fallen in love with. Oh. You never said a word. You were grieving. You had enough to deal with, we both did. But if Lee had hurt his head as badly as you say he did, before he met Robert that afternoon, before Robert hit him... I've just told you the truth. The hardest thing that I've ever had to tell anyone. And all you can think about is him. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. It's a lot for me to take in. Look. So what happened next with, with you and, and Stephen? I texted him as soon as he left. I told him that I could never see him again because it was the only way to keep him safe. Oh, Luke! So, yeah, Lee got what he wanted because he always did. Listen to me. Lee's gone, but you're still here. 
And what he thought, what he said to you, how much he hurt you, that isn't important. But you've got a choice to make now. Are you going to live the way you want to? Or are you going to be bullied by his ghost for the rest of your life? <laughs>